Would you buy a product from recycled material that contains toxic chemicals? No, you wouldn't. These are hazardous chemicals, worst of the worst. The first POPs, 12 of them that were banned under the Stockholm Convention, were also nicknamed the Dirty Dozen. They don't decompose and they accumulate in the living organisms. Sadly, and that's the really sad reality everywhere, we can find them uh, in the environment, uh, we can find them sadly even in the rain. For example, I personally got tested and I have bisphenol A uh, in my body, which is not a pleasant feeling. These chemicals are harmful for all living beings. Some of them can cause cancer. They have all sorts of uh, harmful properties, toxic for reproduction. They have uh, different types of uh, toxicity also in terms of influence of the endocrine system. They are not intentionally used in the products anymore. We knew in the past that we were using harmful brominated flammatarns in electronic products, in the very camera that's taking this video. But what we don't want to have is the harmful chemicals from uh, the electronics that were used in the past ending up in the new product. We were updating these rules to reflect how uh, the limits are getting stronger. We need to be even stricter on based on the latest scientific evidence. So I'm happy that we include some of the latest types of uh, perfluorinated forever chemicals that were being banned this year under the Stockholm Convention. But at the end of the day, really, it's about making sure that the worst of the worst chemicals are not you know, coming back in recycled products.